Okay. So let's let's look at the E shape here for a minute and how the long pattern works on the E shape. This is this is chart 217. It has the patterns here. The long pattern's going to we're going to have a root 2 3 4 5 6 and then we go into an S4E which is just 7 root 2 3 4 5 6 7 root 2 3 4. That's all fine and dandy. These are the patterns. The pattern that we're using, we can look at our patterns down here. We're you, the, the only pattern you have to know for the long patterns, like I say, the only patterns you have to know are the S4E and the S3A XL. These are the only ones you have to know for the long patterns. Otherwise, it's just partials, and I gave this name. It could, it could, could call it Charlie. It doesn't matter. It's just two of three of this, because this is on the top, two strings. If you don't have a seven-string guitar, you don't have a zero string up there or whatever. So these are the two long patterns. The two short patterns, incidentally, are these two guys you can do the whole thing all the short patterns with just these two patterns in shape fitting so let's go back up to the E shape here and look so we got an S2RXL that's just going to be root 2 3 4 5 6 it's the top uh, two thirds of an S3XL so we take, that's the long pattern off the fret nut. And then we go into a full F, S4E. Now that's easy. If you know how to play the diatonic, it's easy. My problem is I, I, I'm not good at the pentatonic of these guys yet. So I want less memorization. So I'll give you a hint. Just memorize how this works. It's easy to do this one because root 2, 3 is root 2, 3 either way. So let's suppose we're going to do an E-shaped uh, E down here. Just like yours. It would be root 2, 3. And then skip the 4, 5, 6 right there. Root 2, 3, 5, 6. Okay. Then we just do the S, 4, E. Now, I think it, we, it would be wiser to do it um, in the key of F just, just for the heck of it so it'll be root 2, 3, 5, 6 and then we go into an S4, E that's a B flat up top there okay that's easy to do because I don't know how to do the diatonic. The pentatonic is... And now I just do an E shape there. It takes on a D shape. Now watch this. We started on an E shaped F. The word cage goes C, A, G, E, D. The next shape up is D shape. And look, our little E pentatonic that we started from the third string became a D shape. Okay? So, that's important to know that when we start an E shape here, we're going to be going into a D shape which is one cage shape away. E goes to D. So long patterns, if they're on the bottom, we're going to finish with the next cage shape up from this long pattern letter shape. Okay? So that, that's how that works. I'll try another one. Starting here on a long pattern. Start in A. What do we, where are we going with this A? Well, I can tell you right here, we're going to finish with a G shape. 
So we're going to start long pattern A that's going to finish with a G shape up there. Our little S4L that we're going to start is going to warp into a G shape. Okay, so how can we how can we look at that simply with the magic circle? Okay, magic circle right there. We start with an A shape, and we're going to do a full three string deal. We're going to do a full S three XL. So then we're going to start an E shape from from the third string over here. E shape from the third string becomes a G shape. Did I say that was the shape we were going to go to? Spell caged. C A goes to G. There you go. That's it. So this pattern, this chart works. It's just got to know how to use it. You know, so with the magic circle, again, when we start a E shape, that S4E, we start that E shape on the third string from the top, we're going to get a G shape. Or the fourth string from the bottom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right, the third string from the... It's the same. It's the same. It works out either way. Because it's the th it, we're starting on the third string. So it's one, two, three strings from the top is a G. Or one, two strings from the bottom. Okay. Well, where are we really at with that G? Here's our A shape. Now we're going to start this pentatonic. We're, we're on the third string from the top. Okay, I'm just trying to show you that the magic circle works. But really, I mean, all we had to do was look at this chart. And certainly we know this, it's going to be a G shape because we started an A pattern. So that's simple enough. All right. All right, so I figured it out. We did a full three string with the A pattern here. We did a full three string AXL. So we're starting the E shape from the fourth string. That's why it worked out four strings away from the bottom or two strings away from the top, which brought us to the G shape. But either way, we're going to get to that G shape. Here's your G shape. So that, that's important to know. That's a good a good prerequisite for moving shapes around is to understand how the long patterns work. Here's pentatonic. Now if I take a long, does that sound like this? See that's the short pattern. Okay, I had to stop and check my soup was boiling over and it was really, really low. Still boiled. But it didn't burn, so I was lucky. Okay, so let's advance on to uh, chart 217, uh, 218 rather, and look at what we got for today. We're going to be moving these same patterns that we just talked about and it's, it's not going to be terribly easy okay this is it here's 218 again pattern movement long and short take the root pattern up one to the fourth take the root pattern down one to the fifth now let's look at the chart because let me tell you the chart is always right Now we'll get back to this, but I'd like it to, to cover this so we'll get this out of the way. You start with a C pattern, we're just going to be using C as an example. So it's not going to get as difficult as the other four shapes. Long pattern starts on C, short, 
and can finish on an S1A string shape 